Hi, I'm Christy. Today I want to talk about The End is in Sight, Part 2. As I mentioned last week, and I've got a link to that post on the blog, you can find that at www.havenofhopeforme.com. This originally posted in May of 2022. I've made a lot of progress completing more transitions for AJ. While the relief is building, I still have a few loose ends to wrap up. AJ has officially been hired for a job and will begin working in early June. He'll be working at a brand new Texas Roadhouse restaurant as soon as it opens. He and three other workers from the same job developer company will be working before the restaurant opens. Now, fortunately, it's only open for dinner during the week, so it's a really good shift for AJ. They'll be rolling silverware, scooping butter, and other repetitive tasks. As they master those tasks, they'll begin learning other tasks as well. There's the possibility of learning to bust tables eventually. He's super excited about this new job and about being done with his job skills program. If I look at the job skills program as his college, he'll be graduating and moving to his first real job right on time. I'm super excited for him as well. The managing partner of the restaurant specifically asked for four workers from the job developer company or from the job developer so that they would have their own community. And before his first meeting for all new employees, one of the managers called me to make sure that what was going to happen during the meeting was doable for AJ. They're excited to see him come in, excited to have him working there, and appear to be happy to accommodate him and the other three workers so that everyone succeeds. I can't wait to see how this continues to develop. I've also received an application for our paratransit bus service, and I'll be completing that in the next few days. This is part of our local bus service. However, rather than going on a fixed route, like a normal bus route, this service provides door-to-door -door service for a fee. And the fee isn't too bad. We're hoping to be approved soon so that he can ride the bus to and from work. We'd also be able to request rides for other activities as needed, providing we're willing to pay the fee for each ride. I think AJ's excited about this extra independence. At least he seems to be excited to ride the short RTC bus, as he calls it. RTC is the acronym for our local bus service. Since he's always chomping at the bit for more independence, I think this is going to be a good step for him. Now for mom to be able to sit back without too much apprehension. That might be the bigger challenge. The final piece of the puzzle is to get a special needs trust in place. This isn't something that every family chooses to complete, but it is something that we've decided we need to do. So we need to schedule that and then meet with a lawyer. We're also going to make sure that our wills are in good shape for when the boys, for where the boys are now that they're officially adults. Paying for the legal fees has prevented us from completing this sooner, but I figured out a way to handle that and it's definitely time to complete this piece. It'll make sure that AJ is well taken care of the way we want him to be should anything happen to my husband and me. The final piece, or a new piece that I'm adding, is an ABLE account. I've heard of them before, but I hadn't seriously considered, about, considered opening one for AJ. Now I am. While we could have him spend the overage that he now has, thanks to that lump sum SSI payment, I'm not sure that I want to teach him to spend money just because he has some in his account. Under normal circumstances, I'd have him save the extra. Enter the ABLE account. I still need to research them a bit more, but I think it could be a good option for many people. The one downside is that while the money is not used for SSI calculations while the individual is alive, any money in the account is susceptible to Medicaid payback upon the individual's death. You can research more for yourself on, for on the ABLE Now website. I've got a link to that over on the blog. You can also Google ABLE account with your state to see if there are any specific options for your state. There is for ours. Now, there's probably more that I could update you on, but this at least hits the highlights. As I mentioned last week, a huge weight is lifted, or nearly lifted, now that these transitions are coming to completion. There's peace of mind knowing that AJ is taken care of and I've done almost everything I can to prepare for the day that I'm no longer able to participate in his care. And I'm excited for what the future holds for him. It's pretty cool to watch him and listen to him as he anticipates moving on to this next phase of his life. His future definitely looks bright and exciting. I can't wait to see, or I can't wait to bring you the next update. So my question for you this week is this, how are things coming for you on your big project? I'd love to hear your update. You can leave me a comment below or you can leave me a comment over on the blog. 
Once again, that's at www.havenofhopeforme.com. This originally posted in May of 2022. If you prefer, you can always email me at Christy, C-H-R-I-S-T-Y, at havenofhopeforme.com. I'm excited for all that AJ's future holds, watching him reaching for his independence so that I can continue to say that life is good and there is never a dull moment.